welcome back to Weebie Kids Yoga. In today's session, we are going to be taking a little journey into outer space. As always, remember to make sure you have plenty of space, that you're wearing clothes that you can move and groove about in, and that if you need to stop at any time, please do. Most importantly, listen to your body and take care of yourself throughout. We begin our sessions sitting comfortably, nice and straight in the spine. Hands together in prayer position or in Jali Mudra. And we start with a greeting, Namaste. And it's a greeting from my heart to your hearts all the way around the world, and from your hearts all the way around the world, all the way back to mine. After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Now, today we are going to begin lying on our backs. And we're going to imagine it's a beautiful night sky. We put our hands on our tummy just to notice how we are breathing. We're going to see in the sky there are a few clouds but there are twinkling stars and there is a beautiful moon making the sky nice and clear and bright. Imagine if you were able to travel to those stars. In fact, why don't we travel to those stars? Hmm, to travel to those stars, we would need a nice clear sky. I think we can blow those clouds away. Take a nice deep breath in and blow away the clouds. They've moved a little bit, not quite enough. One more time, breathing in and blow. <gasps> They've moved. They're nearly gone. I think it might need one more. Breathe in. <sighs> blow away those clouds. <gasps> We've done it. The sky is clear. We can definitely take a rocket up there tonight. We're going to have to get ourselves ready to get inside our rocket though. Hmm. We're going to need our space suit we're going to need those moon boots and definitely our space helmet. Come on, let's get them out of the cupboard. Now, my space suit comes in two parts. It's a little bit of an older one. It has a top and some trousers. So, standing with our feet together, standing nice and straight, we're just going to turn our body around and reach for the top. Here it comes. We're gonna place in one arm. And place in my other arm. And stretch out nice and tall and wide. I'm then going to zip one side. Zip. Stretch out and zip up the other. Zip. Ah, beautiful. Oh, it's a little bit stiff feeling. Maybe it's because I haven't worn it very often. Oh, take our arms down. Wriggle. And now I'm going to put on the lower half, turning the body around, reaching for the trousers. Here they come. Lifting up one leg, you're going to balance and slide one leg in. Ooh, wibble, wibble. Ooh, foot down. And now for the other, lifting up the knee, pushing in the foot. Oh, I've managed. Ooh, foot down. Here we go. And wriggle, 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 wriggle as we pull them up. A wriggle, 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 pull them up. Oh. And now we're going to zip the two together. Zip. Zip. Both sides done. Wonderful. Oh, this is a little bit creaky too. Maybe I should just put my legs nice and wide and bend all oh, the knees and the elbows just to make sure that I can do that in this suit. Mm, okay, it's a little stiff, but uh, it's possible. Pull those legs together. Now, we're going to be able to put on those beautiful moon boots for walking. Hmm, sitting ourselves down. Legs out in front. Oh. Now then, turning to the side, we're going to collect moon boot number one. 
and we're just going to bend our knee a little bit because it doesn't bend very easily in this seat. And then we're going to lean forwards, put on boom boot number one. Ooh. Ah, stretch and reach those toes. Now, other side, reach for moon boot number two. Whew. And ooh, bend the knee on this suit. Place our moon boot number two. Oh, and bend ourselves forward. Beautiful. We've got those moon boots on. Finally, we just need to go and get the helmet. Coming up onto all fours, hands nice and flat on the ground. We're going to see if we can spot it underneath our bed. We don't use it very often, so it kind of just rolls under there. Placing your elbows down where your hands were, hands out in front, pushing the bottom in the air a little, and then just walk those fingers forward. Walk those fingers forward. Oh, get that chin down to the ground. Can you see it at the back there? Oh, it's there, it's right at the back. Coming back up, we're gonna crawl along, and just, ooh, get that helmet. Here it comes. Ooh, we got the helmet. Beautiful helmet it is as well. <sighs> Shine. <sighs> Shine. Oh, I'll be able to see out of that now. Turning it round. On it goes. Oh, <sighs> hello. There we go. You can hear what I'm saying now. I've switched on audio. Next is just a case of taking ourselves into the rocket so we can fly high into the sky. It's a small one, so we have to crawl in from the bottom. So, leaning right the way down, we're going to come up onto the backs of your toes and then pushing ourselves back up so we are balanced on our toes. We're just going to creep forwards. One foot, then the other. Oh, in we go. Inside. Oh, wriggle. Oh, and we are inside our rocket. Now, we need to be able to push the button, decompress the air. Leaning one arm up, leaning over. Boop. Wonderful, we've managed that one. And we now need to set the timer for lift off. Other arm up, it's on the other side there, leaning over. Oh, the timer is counting down. Lifting our arms up nice and tall above us. Taking our legs wider, wider, and bending down. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And lift off, lift off. Beautiful, we're flying up into the sky and leaning to the other side. Oh, we're going very fast on a straight path now. Oh, holding strong and we are in to Space. Opening the arms nice and wide now to make a star. And as we notice, we are floating in space amongst the stars. Leaning over to one side again, lifting the other arm up. Up we come, floating, floating those arms. Up you come floating in space, dancing around in your rocket. You can now float. Oh, isn't this a wonderful feeling? Are you floating around in your rocket too? Ah, oh. oh. did you know? Looking out of the window of the rocket, you can see the moon. Crossing one leg over, Lifting your arms up above you and leaning to side to make a beautiful crescent moon. Opening, crossing legs again, other side, arms up and leaning to the other side, making a wonderful crescent moon shape. 
opening wide. Out there are lots of different constellations and stars. All those things you might have read about in books. I can spot a beautiful one. It's called Ursula Major, but it is also known as the Great Bear. We're going to create bear breath. We're going to stick out our tongue and make our long growly claws, just like the great bears. After three, can you growl like a bear? One, two, three. Can you try that one again? One, two, three. Wonderful, you nearly scared me. We're going to also know it is not only called the Great Bear, but also the Big Dipper. We're going to make a bowl with our legs by placing our feet together. This is what they consider people to be dipping into. And with our bodies, we are going to make the long stem of the stars that dip in. Are you ready to dip for fun? We're just going to lean forwards and dip down into the bowl. Now the Big Dipper also has a Little Dipper. For this one, we're going to cross our legs right over and see if we can put one on top of the knee. We're going to lift up and we're going to dip forwards and up. And then we're going to try that on the other leg. Lifting it up, balancing above the knee, seeing which one feels more comfortable. Perhaps one side is less easy than the other, but that's okay. Lifting our arms and dipping down forwards. And up. And there we have it. The Big Dipper, Big Dipper and Little Dipper. The Great Bear, the Little Bear. Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Those are some very beautiful constellations. Now, lying ourselves back down, we take a moment just to take in the breathtaking scenes of the sky. Arms out wide, legs out wide. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Think about going on your journey today. You had to remember to put on certain things in order to be able to go to outer space. Our special spacesuit so that we'd be able to breathe. We had to remember to get inside our rocket on a good clear sky night. And we had to do things once we were in there to make sure that we could take off correctly. We had an amazing flight, but now it's going to be time to come back. We've seen the moon and we've seen some beautiful constellations, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, known as the Great Bear and the Little Bear, the Big Dipper, Little Dipper. So, pulling our knees into our chests now. Rolling ourselves up, woo, and rolling back, and up, woo, and can we get ourselves to standing? Woo! Up we come. Now, standing ourselves up, legs wide, we are going to have to get ourselves back into landing mode. Arms up above our heads, bending those knees, Time now for landing. Five, four, three, two, one. Bringing the knees in, in, bending down. We have landed back in our bedrooms. Coming down, hands on the floor. Remember how we got in, back down to our knees, tucking the toes flat lying our head down to the mat. Wriggling 
crawling our way back out, we can take off our space helmet and place it to the side before we roll it back under the bed. Are we going to take off our moon boots, leaning forwards, placing it to the side, other one, oh, place them to the side. Coming up, we're going to need to take off these trousers. Here we go, 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 Lift one foot, off it comes, arms wide, down. And the other one, oh, up it is, arms wide, feet down. Unzip, yip, yip. Arms forward, leaning forward. Wriggle the top off too. Now, we are back in our bedrooms and I hope you've had a fantastic trip to the moon, to outer space, to the stars and to the far, far reaches of the universe. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye from me, the kids.